today we're going to talk a bit about dampening friction inertia and dynamic oscillation control. Uh, oscillation being when your uh, your wheel wants to uh, spin wildly and unrealistically. Um, and so we're going to hop right in, uh, go to the control center, uh, to the uh, output mixer and expand the AccuForce steering wheel section. And we'll see that by default we have uh, an AccuForce fluid dampening, an AccuForce friction, an AccuForce inertia, and a dynamic oscillation control effect here. Um, it's important to understand that these are not the same as uh, uh, what you would be accustomed to seeing in a, uh, in a typical force feedback wheels uh, control panel. Um, so I'm going to uh, add an effect that is uh, that we don't include by default uh, that is similar to what would be in a uh, typical wheels control panel and it's called game force feedback effects. And uh, when we expand that we'll see these limits, you know, damping limit, friction limit, and so on. Uh, this is what you actually have in a typical force feedback wheels control panel. And these um, really mean that you know, if we set it to you know, 45 percent, it really means that if a game is using dampening, and you have no way to know if it does or does not, um, that it would limit the game to using 45 percent. Um, it's not really all that uh, useful and so uh, we don't include it by default. I'm just going to go ahead and get that out of here. Um, so what is interesting uh, are, uh, are these effects. Every wheel has some amount of dampening friction and inertia applied by default. Um, but you don't typically get control over that. These are static background amounts of dampening friction and inertia uh, that are used for the purpose of stabilizing the wheel. Now because uh, every game is different, really you'd like to have the control uh, of these on a, on a per game, per car, per track basis. Um, and so that's what these are. You know, the dampening, just to give a quick overview, uh, is like turning through uh, fluid. So the higher you turn up the intensity, uh, the more uh, more resistance that you're going to have there. Friction is exactly that, and it's the same thing. The higher you turn it up, the more you get. Uh, inertia uh, is kind of a... Uh, once you start turning the wheel, it wants to continue to turn. And uh, has a, a nice side effect of helping to uh, helping to remove oscillations, as do friction and dampening. Uh, so really what you, what you want to achieve is uh, have the least amount of dampening, friction, and inertia that you can have uh, without having poor behaviors, such as uh, oscillations or a, a really digitized, pingy sort of feel. Uh, you, you want the wheel to feel natural, and so there's a there's a certain amount of this that uh, everyone will probably need to tune to their own liking uh, to get the absolute best experience. And uh, uh, it's a uh, it's going to be something that's a little different uh, for you at first, but I think you'll find it uh, incredibly powerful uh, to and and uh, worth experimenting with. We also have the effect dynamic oscillation control. And so if I open it up, uh, we'll see that we apply a 25% dampening when the vehicle is stopped. And so one of the most common uh, times of uh, unrealistic wheel oscillation is when you first drop into the virtual world and you're, you're sitting still. Uh, so this just ensures that that doesn't happen. You know, another, another common occurrence of oscillation is uh, you, you've hit a wall. Um, the physics don't know quite how to react to all the uh, things that have happened and your wheel sits there oscillating wildly. Uh, this helps to, uh, uh, to prevent that as well. Uh, we also have a dynamic dampening to apply as the vehicle speed increases. Uh, and this, uh, this is to help alleviate oscillations on high speed straights. 
And so if you've ever uh, done any kind of simulation driving, you've probably been in a scenario where you were driving with the typical four speed back wheel down a straightaway <clears throat> and the wheel starts wanting to just jump left and right and left and right and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, this is uh, our attempt to, uh, to put that in check and if you find that you're driving down a straightaway and, and you have some of this oscillation you would want to come here and just increase this uh, only as far as is necessary to, uh, to alleviate the, uh, the undesired behavior. And so that pretty much covers it. <clears throat> Just a uh, brief overview of uh, oscillation control and some of the options that you have for, uh, for tuning.